This video will look at a simplified disease cycle of fire blight, a bacterial pathogen that affects plants within the rose family. As I say, fire blight is a bacterial pathogen and it affects a really wide range of plants, um, but all of them mainly within the rose family. So that includes quite a few different uh, fruiting plants that we see. Uh, that would include things like pears or any of the apples uh, or any of those types of, of plants, all that are related, Saskatoon berries. It also includes raspberries. They're not necessarily in that family, but there is a strain of, of fire blight that affects only raspberries, but the, the apple strain will also affect the, uh, the raspberry. But what it does is it affects the, um, the health of the tree. You get a lot of, of dieback and, and death of, of leaves and spurs and shoots and everything. So it can affect trees or, or shrubs depending on the plant species that it's attacking. But um, we most often see it in apples, pears, crabs, um, and things like that. It uh, can show up in Saskatoon's. What happens is is that the bacterial pathogen is present on the plant, usually in a sort of semi-dormant state in a canker or something like that, and bacteria produce lots of little propagules or, or whatever, and when things like bees or other pollinators are visiting the plant to, to pollinate, they pick up the fire blight pathogen on them and can move it during flowering. It can also move with rain and splash or, or other ways even mechanically by humans. But what happens is, is as the pollinators visit they often introduce it into the um, into the flowers and growing points and so you'll af it'll affect it different ways. So the, here's a healthy looking shoot or branch where the you know the leaves are green the branches are, are nice and clean and straight and good and when that pathogen gets in through a wound or in a crack or in a, in a weak spot, um, when that bacteria gets in there, it starts to multiply. And uh, you can get some fairly dramatic symptoms. It likes it in, in the sort of, you know, the humid conditions, sort of warmer, uh, sort of upper teens. But what you'll see is, is a, is the any of the plant growth will start to sort of wilt and turn brown, or it'll uh, and turn blackened and and it looks almost burned. We call that scorching. Um, one of the other characteristic symptoms is that it causes this thing called shepherd's crook, and that's what this particular uh, drawing is demonstrating. And then you'll also see the cankers. You'll see watery. Um, wet watery looking growth on the trunk as the pathogen spreads out and kills the tissues but those those spurs or or shoots or little branches will just kind of curl over and turn black and in the case of larger branches they will curl and turn um, browny black you might in some cases see a little bit of a reddy orange it depends on the color but um, can affect you know big mature trees, new growth, uh, anything like that. And so it, it, it can really spread through a tree quite quickly. And that's really quite worrisome. And it is uh, definitely a problem. We maintain it and control it mainly by trying to prune it out as quickly as we possible, very carefully, of course, because it can be spread mechanically. But it's pretty dramatic to see these tissues start to go and turn black and, and wilt and and they'll kind of cling on there and as things develop you'll see more of a, a stem canker and things like that starting to develop. Um, it's yeah it's a it's a pretty serious disease with some major concerns and uh, you know you have to really be watching for it when you're pruning it you remove it way far back from the uh, from the point of infection and disinfect your tools in between that you can't do anything about the pollinators, but you can make sure that the plant itself is healthy, and um, and that's about as good as you can do. And then just watch the weather. When you have a cool, wet spring, you're going to get lots of uh, you're going to see more. It's going to be more likely to spread and show up at that point. So watch for the characteristic symptoms: the shepherd's crook, the scorched tissues, the cankers, water-soaked 
issues and, and remove it as soon as you see it.